All right, folks. Well, here we are. Um, it's been about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so. Um, <clears throat> had to um, cut the uh, cut that off. I mean, you saw that in the other one, in the other video. But uh, here's the piece we just got out of there. And, uh, you know, the bit of the uh, uh, aluminum tube that was still on here on the inside, uh, we had to, to, to run the scraper right down. Let me put you here. Right down the side of it you know to scrape the aluminum off and get underneath because it's glue it was glued on whatever this glue is um thank goodness it's it's semi-hard it's not completely hardened up um and whoever glued them on never never prepped the paint which is nice because it could have been really hard if this was like good epoxy or something um we'd never get it off we'd have to work around it but um what happened here let me take you inside is um we went ahead and scraped all that stuff off right and as we went down the side we'd twist it and it would just pop big chunks of the uh the the glue off you can see there's a drip here just like there is on this side um and that'll come right off uh, because look at this i'm pulling with my fingernail because the uh the glass itself was never properly prepped for for more glass or for glue um i talked to the the guy that uh, that originally bought and resold this cart uh, last night, and uh, the guy that did the patch, I told you, he had, he's admitted that he's not a fiberglass expert, right? Um, he just did did what he could do uh, to, to, to patch up a hole. Um, he told me that his process of prepping the, the, the raw side of the glass is to take a rag with acetone and wash it all, wipe it all down real good, and then he got in there with uh, with some kind of something and tried to to, to grind or knock down maybe some some uh, bumps or sharp spots just there wouldn't be m much for air bubbles but folks you really gotta you gotta take one of these you gotta take a, a 90 or, or a 36 grit sandpaper by hand and really scuff the daylights out of that raw hardened glass because uh, as i've told you before there's paraffin wax in in polyester resin that comes that comes to the top like cream comes to the top of concrete and seals the, uh, the the polyester resin from the atmosphere. Otherwise, it would it would harden up, but it would remain sticky all the time. Um, so when you when you do like a gel coat repair, say you're uh, you got a we got a crack. I found a crack over here. It's a crack in this wheel opening here, right? You see see how that's now if you were you know you you grind it out and you're going to do the repair and and say this was black gel, same thing was all black, and you just wanted to do a, a, a gel repair you would uh, you'd leave it a little bit low because you're gonna build it up you would spray the gel on with it with a miniature sprayer and then you would spray PVA over top of it that green uh, mold release stuff because that would would block uh, would seal off the gel from the atmosphere and it would work like a or you can add paraffin wax to the gel itself and it would do it itself the only problem with adding paraffin wax to gel is uh, you've got to add a lot of extra gel because then you'll have to work it body work it down because um, it leaves like a, a sticky gookiness to a, a good amount of the top surface of that gel that you put back on so i like to use a pva you know you spray the you spray the uh the gel and as it starts to tack up it starts to, it's hard but it starts it's still sticky you spray the pva that seals it up you let it sit for a while you wash the pva off because it comes off with the water and you've got a nice, uh, nice workable um, surface to, to, to wet sand down and buff out. And if it's the same gel, you, you really shouldn't be able to see it. Um, another problem you got sometimes when you do gel repairs uh, by spraying and wet sand and buffing is, is the gel around it is going to get knocked down too. Be careful to work just on your repair until you need to surface it right in, you know, to transition across. Otherwise, you'll go through the gel out here, and in fixing one gel repair, you'll have two more, and you you don't you don't want that. So, um, we'll we get into that some other time. We won't be doing any really gel repair on this. We'll fix this up. We'll grind it from the inside, and uh, and and say, and we'll put a, a patch probably this big, you know, all the way here, uh, just to make sure it's 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 not going to come right back. Um, what we're going to do on the bottom. Uh, yes, and I'll bring it to you more when, when, we're, when we actually get to it. But we're going to cut, we're going to cut up into the good solid material. See so how this go, comes all the way up here. We may come all the way up here 
on either side, you know, and get to a good solid corner that isn't, you know, it hasn't been removed from this surface. And then uh, what we'll do is, uh, well, well, I'll show you from there. We'll make some templates. We'll cut out some uh, some pieces from some raw glass of some pre-made glass that we've already got, and we'll use those to to patch in. But before we do that, we'll have to add glass to this surface here with this big hole in it to make up for the height that we're missing. And then what we'll do is we'll 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 shoot this this uh, surface off onto that hardened glass and trim it down. And then our patch will meet up to it. It'll be a nice square corner. We'll lay glass on the inside and beef it up real good because we know this is a trouble spot. So adding extra glass there is, is going to be a bonus for this guy. Um, and then what we'll do to, to do the cheating is we'll tape off all the black. Uh, we'll tape it off. We might even put PVA over top of the tape, a little bit of green stuff, uh, you know, on a brush or something. So nothing will stick to it. And then we'll use polyester filler, not Bondo. Uh, not Duraglass, that, the, the stuff that we make ourselves with the microspheres and the filler resin. And we'll spread a little of that on there. So when we sand it, we'll just witness the, the, the masking tape that's on the black. So we're not actually going to put any sanding marks into this black, even though it's beat up. And in that way, uh, we'll just use probably, this is, looks like a semi-gloss. It's not flat, not completely flat. We'll be able to doctor that up. We'll spray some, some probably some flat or some semi-gloss spray bomb on it, and then we'll 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 fudge it in, make it about the same um, dullness or flatness with uh, either with some wax or some some oil. We'll rub something into it to to hide our repair. And uh, I'm, uh, I got a good feeling about this. It's gonna look real good when it's done. Um, he'll uh, he'll like it, and uh, and it'll be good and strong. So that's it. We'll bring you some more as we start going. We'll, uh, we'll lay out where we're going to go. we got to mind those supports on the inside. You can see he's been hitting some wear on it here. Uh, we don't want to cut past that if we don't have to. Uh, we may go around it just so we don't have to deal with it. But uh, we'll take a look and, uh, on the inside, and we'll go from there. So that's it. Hope you all are having a good time. Um, we got to get to work. See you all later.